Hello, it is Reviews Day Tuesday. This week it is once again The Quiet as Mouse Book Club and I am reviewing The Talented Mr Ripley by Patricia Highsmith. This is a psychological thriller published in 1955. It is the first novel featuring Tom Ripley. Ripley also appears in four other novels by Highsmith. This review is going to contain a little bit of a spoiler. Normally I'm pretty keen on not having spoilers in my reviews, even if it makes the reviews a little bit vague, but I found it almost impossible to review this book without the spoilers, so I'm just going to have to make an exception. Also, I figure a lot of the people who would be thinking of reading this book would be people who have seen the film, in which case it's already been spoiled. Anyway, this book is about Tom Ripley, a young man living in New York. He manages to negotiate himself into going to Italy to try and convince a man's son, Dickie Greenleaf, to come home and join the family business. A lot of things happen, but one of the things that happens is that, spoiler alert, he kills Dickie Greenleaf and assumes his identity. So the novel kind of ends up being about Ripley's adventures after assuming this new identity and his struggles to keep it, to maintain his new life and not return to his old one. And as I said earlier, there is also a film version starring Matt Damon and Jude Law and Gwyneth Paltrow, which I haven't seen yet. It's a pretty fascinating read. We see into Tom's head his obsessions and reasonings and motivations, and I feel like this is the real strength of this book, more so than the plot or the characters. The theme of identity is very important, it seeps into every page, and I enjoyed how the author portrays how Ripley sees identity and how he sees his identity plural. The book can often be quite exciting, especially as Ripley becomes more invested in his new identity and in protecting his new self, and it can be quite violent, but it's mainly more menacing, more under the surface. I think this is done really well. It could very easily become quite slasher-y, a bit over the top, but it concentrates more on the psychological aspects. It's written very well. Highsmith manages to make the character of Tom Ripley understandable without condoning his actions or making excuses for him. And I found it to be quite a quick and easy read, especially considering the subject matter and how complicated the main character's life gets. So yeah, I will give this book 3.8 out of 5. I'm probably not going to read the other Ripley books soon, but I am definitely going to watch the film. So on to the next books I am going to be reviewing. On the 15th of December I am going to review Vogue's The Short Story Collection, edited by George R. R. Martin and Gardner Dozois. And then on the 29th of December December, I am going to review Moby Dick by Herman Melville. I think I got this book last Christmas, and I've been trying to find a time to read it ever since. I feel like Christmas is my best opportunity because I have two weeks off work. Although if I do run out of time, I may have to push this review back. Another good thing about having two weeks off at Christmas is that hopefully I will have more videos up than I have since I started working full time, so lots to look forward to. I hope you have a great day. I would love to know what you think about the talent in Mr. Ripley if you have read it or seen the film. I would like to know also thoughts on the film. My next video will probably be Phone Friday, whether it will actually to be up on Friday is another question, and I don't know the answer, but I hope you have a great week, and I will see you then.